Do you like spending money on overpriced FIFA points? Of course you don't. Well, head over to UFIFA where you can buy cheaper and reliable coins after price capping. And don't forget to use the discount code DUT at checkout to make them even cheaper. The link will be in the description below. If you are new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for daily FIFA Ultimate Team content. What is going on lads, I'm Exitinho and welcome to My Future Legends Team. I want you to get involved in today's video. So, this is My Future Legends Team, so if there's any players who are missing, yeah that's because it's my team. These are the players that I grew up watching and think deserve legend cards. But, if you do want to get involved, one, let comment one legend who you want in FIFA. Like, if you could have one legend added to FIFA right now, who would it be? And another way you can get involved is, if you see a player in my team who you think does not deserve legend cards, let me know in the comment section below. The like target for today's video is 150 likes, so make sure to smash the like button so we can hit that like target. In goal, we do have Iku Casillas. Even though in the last couple of seasons he has kind of dropped off and is nowhere near what he used to be. Like he's nowhere near the standards he used to be. He's still a fantastic keeper and you can't deny he doesn't deserve a legend card. One of the best keepers of all time behind Khan and yeah there's probably a few keepers are missing. Neuer he's behind but yeah he's so good. Well, was so good. You can't deny he didn't deserve a legend card. He's been at Real Madrid so long and he's been so good for so long until the last couple of seasons. In the centre back position, I've gone for John Terry. Just picked a random man on the match card of his. Don't know why, I just went for that one. He's been so good for Chelsea, been unbelievable for England. I don't even think he should have retired. He's still one of the he's in one of the best partnerships, the centre back partnerships at the moment in the world. Him and Cahill are unbelievable together still. He's like 36 and he's still playing unreal. I know he's had bad off the pitch antics, but you can't deny he's a fantastic defender. Next to John Terry, we do have Eric Abadal, who's pretty much won everything domestically. Won a couple of Champions Leagues, won La Liga loads of times. He's even a World Cup winner, and he's just an inspiration, to be perfectly honest with you, lads. Just beating cancer, just, yeah, just a We'll definitely get a legend card in the future. Next to Abadal, we do have Nemanja Vidic, our Pitsy's Team of the Year card, just to show how good he has been. He's still a pretty decent player now, but he's just been such a good centre-back for United. I think he's just been overshadowed by how many great players were in that United team. He was one of the main reasons that Man United team with Ronaldo and Tevez was so dominant. In the left mid position, I've put Cristiano Ronaldo. He's the best player in the world. I've grown up watching him and just been amazed. True inspiration. When you're a kid, everyone wanted to play like him. There's no way around it. I had to put him in the team because... I've just grown up watching him and just idolised him. I've kind of fucked up and probably started a Ronaldo versus Messi argument. Oh shit. It's pretty obvious that Paul Scholes is going to make it in the team. What can't he do? He was the most complete central midfielder. He could pass, he could shoot, he could run with the ball. He knew how, he, would, he could tackle. He was so complete. There was nothing he couldn't do. He was just amazing and so consistent for Manchester United and probably one of the best central midfielders of all time, if not the best of our generation. Next to Paul Scholes, we do have Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard just started a revolution of midfielders scoring 20 goals a season. He was the first one to like keep doing it season in, season out. He was just so good at attacking. Towards the back end of his Chelsea career, kind of got moved back a little bit and wasn't as in an attacking role. But still... For Chelsea, just scoring 20 goals a season, winning the Champions League with Chelsea, you just can't say he doesn't deserve a legend card. In the right mid position, we do have David Beckham. Bend it like Beckham, and good, could he bend a ball? Yes, he could. He could score bangers with free kicks. Everyone remembers that one versus Greece. I, I remember that. That was just crazy against Greece. I was very young, but still, we needed to score or we were out. We didn't go to the World Cup, and he just bangs in that free kick. He's done so much for England, and he's achieved so much for clubs. He's won pretty much everything domestically. In the can position, we do have Ronaldinho. You just can't hate this man. Always played with a smile on his face, and when he was at his peak, there was no player near him. Me Ronaldo wasn't even near him at the time. Messi was just coming up, but Ronaldinho at his peak, he literally made it look so easy with his skills. I'm going to show you the two strikers as a pair. On the left, you can see we've got Thierry Henry. And the right, we have got Brazilian Ronaldo. Thierry Henry, wow, what a player he was. I remember him in the Invincible days, but even after that. In the Invincible days, he was great. But he was just unbelievable. Explosive pace, unbelievable finishing. And he'd done it week in, week out. And he won a couple of golden boots in the Premier League. And because I'm from England... I watched the Premier League every single week and just grew up with him every week. So I really got to see how good he was. And Brazilian Ronaldo, 
he was just something else. He had pace, unbelievable dribbling, but he had pace and unbelievable strength. Like he'd pace someone, just bully him off the ball. And then he could do skills that other players couldn't get away with because he was just so strong on the ball and he could shove them off with ease. Lads, that is the team. Let me know in the comment section below if there's any players in this team who do not deserve a legend card. And the question of the day was, if you could have one player become a legend today and just be put straight into ultimate team, which player would you pick? Can we hit the like target that I set was 150 likes? Make sure to smash the like button so we can reach that target. I've been next senior and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching today's video. I really do hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, make sure to smash the like button. I've been next senior and I'll see you all next time.